this past year has brought a great amount of films with a woman as the lead character and it is exciting to see the variety of roles which make it that more anticipatory as to who will win the Best Actress Oscar. So here are my top five nominations. Viola Davis as Ma Rainey in Ma Rainey's Black Bottom, directed by George C. Wolfe opposite the late Chadwick Boseman. First of all, I have never seen Viola in a role like this before. The best way to describe this performance is humid. She is demanding, stubborn and unbelievably talented as the role of Ma Rainey. The film as a whole is certainly one for the books and I think that Chadwick Boseman should win the Best Leading Actor Oscar. I think this posthumous award will be incredibly meaningful. So Viola winning Best Leading Actress may be overshadowed because the ending with Boseman, if you've seen the film, is shocking. Boseman was incredible. But I think it's about time for Viola to add the Best Leading Actress trophy by her Best Supporting Actress Oscar, which she won for Fences. Personally, I would like Viola Davis to win either way. Vanessa Kirby as Martha Weiss in Pieces of a Woman, a drama directed by Cornel Mondrezzo opposite the forever problematic Shia LaBeouf and the incredibly talented Ellen Burstyn, who herself is an Oscar winner, so you can watch a video I made about her. First of all, I think Vanessa is more relevant than ever due to the worldwide obsession with the crown. Second of all, this film is really unique as a whole. I'm not sure how believable the 30 minute birth scene is in terms of how a woman would act in the highs of labor. We'd need to investigate from real life mothers out there. But the real power of Kirby's performance lies in the final court scene. We hate and we sympathize with Martha the whole way through. And that is what makes a complex female character. Rosamund Pike as Marla Grayson in I Care A Lot a thriller directed by Jay Blakeson, opposite Peter Dinklage. Rosamund as a conniving, double-crossing crook is exciting to watch. She is relentless as Marla and someone who throughout the film seems to be indestructible. Nobody seems to be able to take Marla down. She just doesn't die. She is a total gangster, certainly a rare and new type of female protagonist. Would I deem Rosamund's role on the same level of inner turmoil and rawness as Kirby's or Davis's? Definitely not, due to the dark humor tone and the way the character is framed as not in the least bit troubled by inner demons. But who said that the best actresses always have to win for a gut-wrenching role that makes you want to cry for them? Frances McDormand as Fern in Nomadland the film is a total female-driven indie project, which of course I love. And it's written, directed and edited by Chloe Zhao, based on a book by Jessica Bruder. Plus, McDormand helped produce this film. McDormand is obviously an Academy favorite, for she has won two Best Actress Oscars already. And I have made an earlier video about her too. I love films like this, an escape into the simplicity of people's wandering life and the theme of freedom ever present. I'm always for Francis winning an Oscar. My fifth nomination would have to go to Andre Day as Billie Holiday in United States vs. Billie Holiday. Directed by Lee Daniels, who directed Precious, who produced Monsters Ball, for which Halle Berry won the Best Actress Oscar. The biographical drama is certainly something the Academy would have preference over than, say, Nomad Land. Andre Day is a newcomer to the film industry, for she is a singer-songwriter first and foremost. And she is multi-talented and her incredible depiction of Billie Holiday brought her a Golden Globe for Best Actress in a Motion Picture Drama. Everything is just so coherent and I think Andre Day has the potential to win. She is a fresh face and voice and the film is powerful and meaningful with a brilliant cast. The Oscars 2021 nominations will be announced tomorrow, March 15th. We are all looking forward to them. This was my take on one of the categories which is the most exciting to me personally. And I have a full series on all best leading actress winners and their rise to Oscar success. So make sure to check that one out. I would love it if you would like this video and subscribe to my channel. I have more projects coming out, so stay tuned. And also make sure to comment your five picks as to who should be nominated and ultimately win the best actress in a leading role Oscar this year.